Okay. And as people come in, we're going to go ahead and mute you out. Don't take it personally. Here we go. Are you ready? Brand schedule reach a marketing play shop with me, Dr. Jody Dinnerman. I'm so glad that you guys are here. I want to first congratulate you because you could be doing anything with your Friday afternoon and you're spending the hour with me. And um, I, I think that this kind of stuff pays off. I think that we, when we put energy into something that we really want, things start to happen. And I give you so much kudos for joining me today. I'm also going to tell you that um, all you have to do is send me a message. Send me a message if I haven't connected with you yet saying, Jody, drop me a copy of your book and just give me one take takeaway from today, like one thing that you get from our time together today. Um, this is my book, Staff List. It's got all of my secrets. It's kind of like a cliff note version of our school, which I'll tell you about later. So here's the thing. We're going to spend an awesome hour together. Probably the last 20 minutes of this training is all about telling you what I'm doing with Soup School. So at that point, if you're already one of my students, or if you have no interest at all in joining Soup School, I'm going to invite you at that point to go ahead and enjoy your afternoon. I'm hoping to just plant seeds for you. If you want to know more about what I'm doing with our online school, that's really guided towards um, giving you solutions for automation your practice so that you can truly have a staffless practice or have a practice that pushes your current staff team's talents forward, then hang tight in the end of the training. I'm going to give you so much information and lots of free stuff too. Um, during the training that we're doing together, I love um, I love when you give me feedback in the chat box. So if I say, yeah, give me a yay or nay, or if I say, give me your experience here, just throw some love in the chat box so that I know that I'm not talking to myself for the next hour. We are going to do something called deep breath breaks. So I get really overwhelmed when I talk. I tend to talk a lot and I talk really fast. And I often just need to put the gears, you know, in neutral and take a deep breath. And I will, I'll ask you to do that with me. So let's go ahead and practice that. So we're just going to put our feet on the floor and get comfortable in my body. And if you think I'm totally cheesy for doing this, go ahead and um, can that Jason's got some background music for our deep breath and just go ahead and take a deep breath with me and get centered. Just take a minute and get centered. Even if you're driving, just find your breath and know that we are all here together for the next hour so that we can be better at what we do so that we can reach more people so that we can help this very subluxated confused world be clearer and healthier and brighter and that's what we're doing here on the planet and that's what we're doing with this next hour um the only other thing is that, you know, I really do want to hear from you. So if you want to DM me at Staffless Practice, I promise to get back to you. So here's the thing. This training is for the solo practitioner who wants to stop wasting their time and money going in circles with marketing strategies that don't grow your practice and really leave you feeling de defeated. Believe me, I've been there. You may have staff and you feel like that if only they knew how to help and market and represent your practice, you could finally hit those numbers, right? So you see people using really cool tools and tricks and shortcuts and just want the inside scoop on all things marketing. I get it. I've been there. If you could only figure out how to do it, you could finally have the practice of your dreams, serve more people, earn more money, and slow down the grind. This training is not for you. If you have got it going on when it comes to automating your outreach, you have a practice filled with people who get what you do and you spend very little time and money sharing your practice vision with the world. So if this is you, like if you really feel like um, the whole marketing thing is your jam and you've got it going on and you don't need more tools, go enjoy your afternoon. Don't spend the next hour with me. But if you want to know my lessons learned and experience earned, I'm going to go ahead and give you the inside scoop. I also, as I mentioned before, at the end of the training, I'm going to give you my very best share of all things soup school, which is my online school for practice automation. And I'm going to give you my practice Trello SOP. What's an SOP? An SOP is a standard operating procedure so that if I decided to walk away from my practice tomorrow, somebody could take my practice SOP, look at all of the important information about my practice, like my password, 
words and my scripts and my procedures and my fee stuff and my time stuff, all of that stuff lives in my practice SOP. I'm going to give you a copy paste version of how to create your own and walk you through every step of the process. That's a gift that I give when somebody purchases a seat to soup school. And we'll talk more about that later. So let's just take a minute. And if you know the target scenario, if you guys have already seen my free training, just hang tight and walk through this again with me. Okay. Let's say it's a Saturday afternoon. You've had a long week at the office. You're, you got the red buggy. You're walking up to the front door of Trello. You see those big red balls that sit in, I mean, the front door of Target, you see those big red balls that sit in, in front of the Target door, right? And you see on one of the balls, it has a piece of paper hanging and you're intrigued. So you walk up to the piece of paper, it's duct taped to the red ball and the paper says this. We're giving a thousand dollar shopping spree to the first practitioner who doubles their practice with their ideal client. Huh? You see a piece of paper hanging on Target's big red ball and it says this and it's your Saturday afternoon. So you, you're intrigued, you dive in, right? So you're gonna, you're gonna deal with this challenge in one of two ways. This is what we see. The first way is with circling Cindy. The second way is with Awesome Alice. Let's go through it. So circling Cindy will take anyone into her practice and she doesn't take into account whether or not they fit her ideal client profile. She spends countless hours at events and screenings that don't yield results. She has spent way too much money on irrelevant practice building seminars. And you know what, you guys, she's tired and frankly, she's stressed out. She may even be heading down burnout lane and nobody wants that. And then there's Awesome Alice. Awesome Alice makes it really clear who she is, what she does, and her new clients are a perfect match for her services. She only implements marketing systems that create magnets for her ideal client. She keeps a very low budget for time and money spent on her practice marketing, and she loves going to her office. In fact, it's her happy place. She has so much fun in practice and her stats, quite frankly, reflect it. So my first question for you of the day, this is your first first chat box love opportunity. Are you more like circling Cindy or are you more like awesome Alice? Where are you guys at right now? Do you feel like you've got the practice marketing thing down and you're really clear on who you're branding to, who you're marketing to, who you're speaking to, or do you feel like you go in circles? Go ahead and throw some love in the chat box. Okay. Yeah, we get stuck, you guys. That's the deal. And we get stuck because quite frankly, I didn't learn this stuff in school. I learned it through the, the, the school of hard knocks, right? I had to try it and try it and try it and make it stick, make it stick, make it stick. And things would stick for a day or two and then they would fall off. Things would stick for a year or two and then they would fall off. And I'm going to show you what has finally stuck for this crazy chiropractor. So it's nice to meet you if I don't already know you. My name is Dr. Jody Dinnerman. I've been in practice for 21 years, I went to Sherman College of Straight Chiropractic. I'm a chiropractor through and through. I've been around the block and back again, and I've served thousands through coaching, chiropractic, and a whole lot of love. I'm a PD, this is really important. I'm a pediatric and prenatal chiropractor. So I'm the chiropractor who does the before, during, and after baby. And then I'll also see dad and I'll see grandparents and I'll see anybody else who wants to come along for that adjustment. So I see the mom during the pregnancy. I see the mom before the pregnancy. I see the mom after the pregnancy. And I see the baby from the, the first day of life on up. And I now have people who are 21 years old who I've been adjusting their whole life. And some of them are now pregnant. It's all very cool, right? So I also am a mom of two very busy kids. So I've got a lot juggling at all times. My husband runs his own business. I'm now running a school. I'm now a published author. Like there are all these things happening. So I want to make sure that the marketing piece is taken care of. I want to make sure that it's automated. And I know that you guys can identify with this. So I have spent hundreds and thousands of dollars and endless hours working on building my staff practice only to come back to the same practice stats over and over. You guys, I remember saying, I just hired this new coach. I just spent $6,000 and committed to three hours a week. And no matter what I throw at this practice thing, I'm always at the same numbers. Maybe I would bump up by 10%, but then I would feel like I was heading towards burnout. I was tired. I didn't like the systems that I was learning. They didn't resonate with me. I didn't feel authentic reading a script to my practice members. None of it was fitting me. None of it was working with me. I knew I could get to success with 
without hiring people, because that was important to me, if only I could discover the right systems. Finally, I jumped off the hamster wheel. I got hit in the face with a dose of reality and I created the right systems that really work for my practice for this very impulsive love filled chiropractor. So in walks what I call the three bucket marketing approach. And we're going to break this down. We're going to unpack it up the wazoo. Okay. This is part of what I call the staffless practice success system. You guys are going to become really familiar with these terms. So the staffless practice success system that includes the three bucket marketing approach is the solution I created when I knew, I knew I could do more, I could give more and I could earn more. And that's what I wanted to create. I knew I had it in me and I knew I could do it without staff. So here's the thing. It, the systems that I created allowed me to finally ditch the circling Cindy approach. I was stuck in circling Cindy world for so many years, 21 years, you guys, I've been in practice. I've served over 120,000 adjustments, right? I didn't get to serve all of those adjustments because people were just attracted to me like a magnet and walked into my office being my ideal practice member. I had to work really hard at making that happen. And now is literally I spend zero energy marketing my practice. It's streamlined. It's all automated. I finally have filled my practice with people who get what I do and they stay with me for years. And they also bring in their friends and family and they bring in their friends and family already coming in, knowing what I do and what I don't do. And I'm going to teach you how. So again, I ask the question, do you want to ditch the circling Cindy approach for good? And do you want to jump into an awesome Alice experience? So here's what I want you to do. I invite you <laughs> to learn from my mistakes. You do not have to recreate the wheel. If, if only, if only 21 years ago, somebody had told me that these systems existed. If only 21 years ago, somebody told me that I was allowed to be in fair exchange with money and time for my service. If only somebody had told me 21 years ago that I didn't have to hire staff, that I didn't have to memorize the scripts, that I really could create procedures and systems in my office that worked for me. Not necessarily for Bob and Frank and Janet and Jen, but they work for me and my practice. I'm, I'm going to give you all of those if onlys over the next hour. So let's go over a few of the mistakes that not only I made, but I also see a lot of our students making. I'm not going over these mistakes to make people wrong. I'm going over them to stop, to put the yield sign in front of you, shift your pivot, pivot your experience and start going in a different direction. So mistake number one, we do not have a clear vision of who we want to serve. So it feels like all of our marketing efforts get watered down. Okay, let's dive into this. We don't know who we're talking to in our marketing efforts. So we attract all kinds of people into our practice, really with no clarity on what we do and why we do it. They become part of what I call the leaky bucket syndrome. The leaky bucket syndrome looks something like this. Okay, you guys with me? Oh, deep breath break. You ready? Take a deep breath. <sighs> Good. Let's get into the leaky bucket syndrome because it sucks. Okay. So what happens is, um, let's say, let's use Beth as an example. Beth calls my office and she's got a terrible migraine and she hears that chiropractors fix migraines. That's just the message, message that she heard from Sally at the barber, you know, at the hair salon. And she calls my office and I look at my schedule and my schedule is really light that week and I'm kind of freaking out. Maybe I'm five years in practice and I really want to fill my schedule. I don't care who I take. I'll take anybody. So Beth comes in thinking that what I do is fix migraines because I agreed to that. I made that agreement with her on the phone. She comes into my office. I do my analysis. I do my exam. I give her an adjustment. I don't course correct with her. I don't plant seeds for lifetime care, which is where I hang out in chiropractic. I, I just make her right and I let her steer the ship. I, t I let her dictate what her care is gonna look like, okay? She gets adjusted, she leaves my office. Now here's the thing, you guys, in my world, chiropractic is about making sure that your body is not what we call subluxated. It's about making sure that your nerve system is expressing at 150 million percent, okay? Most of the time when our nerve system is strong and healthy, we feel better because that's just innate adapting, right? So Beth leaves my office, her migraine is gone. I never see her again. 
she goes to tennis practice with Bob and Sally. And she says, you guys, I met this great chiropractor. She fixes migraines. You got to go see her. So then Bob and Sally call my office looking for migraines to be fixed. This is part of the leaky bucket syndrome. They come in for one or two visits and they leave and they come in and they leave. I see you guys laughing. So you know what I'm talking about, right? They come in, they leave. They come in, they leave. Uh uh. That needs to stop right here and now. So here's the deal. If you are an allopathic practitioner, Godspeed, kudos to you. Just be really clear on what you do, what you do not do, and have the humility, have the humble button, hit that button when you need to saying, this is not one of my ideal practice members. I'm going to send this Beth or this Sally or this Jen to the guy down the street because waiting right behind that Beth, you guys, is your ideal practice member. And they will not become part of the leaky bucket syndrome. In fact, they're going to help fill your practice with people you love to serve. That has been my experience. I'm going to show you how. So here's the cool thing. Cleaning up the leaky bucket mess will naturally lead to relationships with referral partners. Let's say that that Beth who called my office who has the migraine is my ideal practice member. Let's just say, okay? So I'm going to reach out to all of the people who Beth is already seeing. Beth probably has some kind of a craniosacral practitioner. Beth definitely has an OBGYN. Beth, I already know she's part of a tennis club. I also already know that she um, is in a book club with a bunch of really cool ladies. These are all the things I already know about my ideal practice member, Beth. So guess what I just created? I just created an entire list in Beth's world of who I need to reach out to, who I need to go for a walk with, who I need to invite to lunch, who I need to send a press kit to about my practice. You guys get that. That, right? So then I'm no longer spending my Saturday afternoons at Walmart doing spinal screenings for free on people who have zero interest in getting healthy. You guys, your timing, your energy need to be of equal exchange. And this is where it starts. It starts with cleaning up the leaky bucket mass. Okay. Mistake number two, we overcomplicate our approach to marketing with everything. We find these, you guys, I'm so guilty of this. We find these really fancy programs and apps and systems that don't yield the results we want. So when I started, when I was a child, when I started practice, um, 21 years ago, there were no smartphones. Like this wasn't a thing. Only really fancy people had these things, right? And they looked a lot different. They looked more like a deck of cards. And there's a part of me that wants to be like hip and up with the times and using the latest this and the latest technology, but it doesn't, it's a waste of my time and energy and it doesn't yield the results that I want. Do not get distracted with systems and, and procedures that do not serve you and your ideal practice member. So we buy the ads and the programs and the scripts only to feel left feeling depleted. Somewhere we learn that the more money we throw at marketing and the more, the more energy we throw at it, the more successful we'll be. You guys, that's not true. You just want to do it smart. We end up feeling like if only we could get the right system or the right app or the right book, we'll finally get a busy practice. So we spend and study and spin. You guys, this has to sound familiar to you to end up in the same place over and over. So let me say something else about this. No matter what I do, no matter what I do, whether I'm doing a cleanse or I go on a spiritual retreat or I paint my office or I move my office or I get really clean with my marketing plan in my practice, no matter what I do, I always see between 80 and 100 people a week because that's my pace. That's what I have the space for. That's where my heart is. That's how many people I want to be serving. So I could hire the perfect coach. I could memorize the perfect script. And I always back to, come back to 80 to 100 people a week. Some of my buddies that I went to chiropractic school with see 500 people a week. And that's their pace. Me, I'd be rocking in a closet with post-it notes all over me if I was seeing that many people. It's too much for me, right? You have to figure out whether you're a chiropractor or a physio or a therapist or whatever it is you do, you got to find your pace. And it comes with experience. You can learn from my experience earned and lessons learned, but you also, they call it practice for a reason. It's going to take some time. So be patient with your process. Okay.
If only we could get the right tools, find our people and give them great care, practice would be a lot easier, money would flow in and we could have our weekends back. Wouldn't that be lovely? The truth is you only need a few tools, a great planner and an awesome vision. That's where you need to start. I really love sharing um, the... I, I stand on the shoulders of giants and Danielle Eaton is one of the giants that I stand on her shoulders because quite frankly, she's one of the coolest people on the planet. I'm going to give you um, love bombs from all of the people in my program who love what I'm doing. And here's the first one. Dr. Danielle Eaton says time, not money is, is your most valuable resource. You simply cannot make more time. Dr. Jody's program will show you how to automate your practice system so that you can focus on what matters most, right? So that that's the first love bomb. Okay, you ready for mistake number three? Whew, we let our fear get in the way. You guys, you see, I just took a deep breath break and didn't invite you. So if you'd like to take a deep breath break, go ahead and help yourself. So what if I'm not good enough, I look stupid, I mess it up, I'm too fat, I smell funny, I have something between my teeth, I don't have enough to offer. These thoughts still go through my head, you guys. Finally, our fear gets the best of us and we end up throwing the towel in and just saying, screw it and not doing anything. No marketing, no live events and no market research. Guys, this is not where you wanna be. Our practice stays right where it is month after month and year after year. If I can do it, here's the thing, okay? I, I would fit into every three letter learning disability out there box, right? I learn differently. I move through the world differently. I am not an academic person. In fact, I went to Rutgers University, got a degree in English, and my main professor who I was under, I was under his wing, he saw where I was at with reading and writing when I entered Rutgers and he made my own exams for me. And he did it without embarrassing me. And he said, Jody, you're at a 10th grade reading and writing level. I don't know how you got into Rutgers University, but you got in. By the time I'm done with you, I'm gonna have you up to par with your classmates. So you guys, I'm telling you, if I can do this stuff, you can do it. I had all of the odds against me. I got sober when I was 19. I couldn't speak in complete sentences. My whole life, uh, my life prospect was to follow the Grateful Dead around on tour. That was my vision, right? Then one day I saw things clearly and quite frankly, it had a lot to do with chiropractic. Out of overwhelm, I flew for good because I had this vision, right? I'm like tunnel vision. These glasses, these aren't glasses. These are tunnel visions. <laughs> so really, what I'm saying is all you need is a plan. You need a plan and you need a vision. You need to see yourself successful. You need to understand how powerful you are and what you have the potential of doing for your community. You just need a plan. I'm telling you that right now. So you ready? Here we go. Let's get into the three bucket marketing approach of the Staffless Practice Success System. Just throw me some chat box love and tell me that you're ready to go there. I love it. Cool. Okay. Again, if you're one of my soup students, you guys have my soup marketing academy. So I'm pulling gems from that. Um, if you're not yet a soup student, some of this stuff is going to be pretty foreign to you. So just hang tight. Who believes that you can finally plug the leaks in the bucket without wasting time or money on systems that don't work? Go ahead and throw us a yes or a no in the chat box. Got it. Awesome. Okay, cool. So let's dive in, shall we? So there are three buckets to this marketing approach. The first bucket is having a very clear vision. The second bucket is having the right tools because a, a vision without tools will lead you nowhere, right? You need to have the right tools. The third vision is a plan or the third bucket is a plan because a vision plus tools without a plan, you're gonna go in circles. So you need the vision, you need the tools and you need the plan and I'm gonna get you there. So let's start with vision. Let's talk about what, who, where, when, how, and why. As far as you practicing and you reaching your community is concerned, this is going to look different for every person on this call. If you are listening to this and you're a therapist, it's gonna look a lot different to, you, to the person who's listening to this and is a prenatal chiropractor. Just put this in perspective within your practice box, within what you do. So um, first, we're just gonna drop a love bomb. Dr. Russ Rosen says the staffless practice 
practice program is absolutely wonderful. I cannot recommend it enough if you want to automate your systems and utilize less staff. Thank you, Dr. Rosen. If you guys don't know Dr. Russ Rosen, he teaches a ton about the importance of certainty. He talks about the reptilian brain. And when you're teaching a new practice member, you teach through asking questions. And all of our new patient stuff or new client stuff, new practice member stuff in soup school for all kinds of healthcare practitioners, most of it is from Dr. Russ Rosen's brain. Okay, let's talk about vision. We need to get really clear on who we want to be serving. You guys, this is important. And I get a lot of pushback about this point. Some people are like, and they say to me, and totally cool, but not my reality. They say, I need to serve anybody I can. I need to serve as many people as I can until my hands fall off. I need to fill my fill my schedule from start to finish from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Who am I to say no to somebody and refer to the guy down the street? Here's the thing. I only have 10 to 15 hours a week to serve my people. So best that I'm serving people who I'm really good at serving, right? So I need to get clear and ask who I want to be serving. Ask the questions. The more clarity, the better. Then we figure out, okay, you guys stay with me here because this is important. Let's say that my ideal practice member who, this is true, is a 30 something mom who has the time, energy and resources to give more and do more for her family. I'm gonna call her Sally. Okay. Sally's my 30 something mom. She just had a baby. She's about to get pregnant again. She's nursing up the wazoo. There's always diapers in her bag. She shops at Lululemon. She loves bright colors. Um, she doesn't really read magazines, but she's on Facebook all day long. She's just dabbling with Instagram. I know so much about Sally. I know she shops at the local health food store. I know she goes to my midwife's office. I know that she goes to the yoga studio down the street. So if I can jump into Sally's brain, which is usually, listen to me here, guys, it's usually really easy to do that because usually my Sally is me. I'm going to say it again. Usually my Sally is me. The person who I am attracted to serving is it's usually going to look a lot like who you are. So you have to get in their head if it's not already you. And you have to say, what colors does Sally love? Okay, what words does she love? What words does she hate? I can't stand the word fellas. Can't stand the word slacks, okay? So I love words like pivot and I love words like um, eclectic. Like these are words that I'm drawn to when I see them. I love images of puppies because I love my puppy. I love images of babies. I love articles um, about uh, birthing and flexibility and abundance. So these are all of the things that I need to know about my Sally. That's where I'm going to spend my marketing energy. Those are the colors that I'm going to choose when I do my branding. Those are the fonts that I'm going to choose when I do my branding. All of these things count. All of these things are important. I also want to know what Sally's pain points are. What does she worry about? What is she concerned about? Because you guys listen, let your ideal client tell you what their problems are. Think about if you're already in practice, think about the top 10 people you love to serve. Who do you, you see their name on the schedule and you're like, yes, today is a Lindsay day. Or I have one of my people is Veronica. Yes, today's a Veronica day. And then just write down Veronica's attributes or write down your Sally's attributes attributes. What do you love about Sally? What do you love about Veronica? What are her pain points? What troubles her? Because that's what you're going to speak to in your marketing effort. That's what your blog is going to be about. That's what your podcast is going to be about. I think you guys get where I'm going with this. Okay. We need to know what our service is and what it is not. Better to be a master at your craft than a jack of all trades. Can you guys agree with that? You can't do everything for everybody, but you certainly can do a few things really, really well. I can adjust a baby and a pregnant woman like nobody's business, but put me in the hands of a professional athlete and I'm like, I, I got to send you to the guy down the street because he's going to serve you better than I can. Best to know what you're best at. I also feel like in my world, in my chiropractic world, if I wanted physical therapy as a, as a Sally, I'm going to send them to the best physical therapist on the planet. I'm not going to try to do physical therapy on my practice members because I'm a chiropractor. I'm not going to try to do nutrition with my practice members because I'm a chiropractor. That's my reality. You got to get really clear on what it is that you do and what it is that you don't do. Do a few things really 
really, really well. So you become the person in your community who does that thing really well. I hope that that makes sense to you. We need a space and a place that we feel connected to and really want to be serving in. I love my office. It's so beautiful from A to Z. Um, we have an entire course in soup school called Sensational, where we walk you through the sense of taste, touch, sound, sight, and smell. Make sure you're hitting every one of those components when it comes to setting your office up for your ideal practice member and for you. I need to make sure that I have a schedule that really works for the people who are most important to me and that works for me. I've got two very active boys. My one son is one of the top CrossFit athletes in the world. His tra he's training in my garage right now. As I share with you, I'm listening to barbells dropping, right? My other son is a whirling dervish and wants to be a chiropractor. I've got both of them that I'm juggling and I have a husband who's running his own business. I need to make sure that my office schedule matches what their demands are and those demands shift every season. My practice members know that about me. They know that my schedule is not always consistent. They know that I might change it up with, with a two-week warning, but that's part of how I roll and that's part of their agreement with me. You do what works for you. So we need to know up, down, all around why we do what we do. Why are you a therapist? Why are you a PT? Why are you a dentist? Why am I a chiropractor? Because I truly believe with every bone every muscle fiber, every cell of my being, that when people get adjusted, they're a better version of who they are, right? That's why I'm a chiropractor because God knows that we need people in the best form of their life right now. We need people as clear as possible, as healthy as possible. And you know what, you guys, what's happening right now is people are getting sicker. People are sitting at home and their worlds are getting smaller and smaller and the amount of drugs that people are using are getting larger and larger and the pounds that people are putting on are getting larger and larger. People need good care yesterday. This is the time I'm telling you right now. So do you have a practice vision statement? Do you have a mission statement? Do you know what your core values are? Do you implement your anchors and rituals in every part of your practice? If you don't know what I'm talking about, please join me in soup school. So I'm gonna give you some tools. These are my favorite tools when it comes to marketing. You know, I always have people saying to me, how do you do that thing when you do YouTube and you see the words come up? Or um, how are you in like five different places at once when you go live? So. I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. So this is one of the, um, the, the screens that you want to screenshot. If you don't know how to screenshot, you're going to hit command shift and the number four all at the same time. And it's going to bring up this box and you can make it bigger and you can take a picture of it and it will land on your desktop. So eCam is a program that you can purchase. It's a membership program and it allows you to put fun writing in um, a live video. It also allows you if you if you pair it with a program called Restream, I don't have that written here, Restream.io, Ecamm and Restream work together. And if you've got them together, you have to pay for the subscription. You can go live in all of your Facebook groups at once. You can go live on many different platforms at one time. So it's like, kind of like you're hitting um, 20 different snow, snowmen with one, one stone, right? So Canva is the program that I use to do any slide that looks like this, to do any marketing, all of the ads that you saw when I was doing this, um, this uh, getting ready for this presentation, all of that's done on Canva. So are these slides. I can pick my fonts in Canva. I can move stuff around. It helps you organize all of it. It helps you uh, create a whole brand board. All of these things happen in Canva. Hootsuite is a program that I use to, um, do one post in many different places. So I have all of my Facebook, I'm giving you guys the totally the keys to the queendom right now. I have all of my Facebook groups, my Facebook page, my Instagram, all of that is on Hootsuite. I send one um, or I'll have my VA do it. I, I have an image and I have some words that I love and you can post months in advance. So the only thing I'm gonna suggest when it comes to Hootsuite is that you're really mindful if you, if you are 
already have your posts scheduled out and you change something in your schedule, you have to go back to Hootsuite and change it. You have to go ahead and stay connected to your publisher in Hootsuite. And you also want to make sure that you write it down. You guys use a paper planner. I'm telling you right now, make sure you have a paper version of all of this so that there's something about connecting to paper, especially if you're over the age of 40. Um, Soup Marketing Academy. I got to toot my own horn here. So in Soup School, we have our Marketing Academy Part 1, which goes into the foundational pieces of marketing, your vision, your mission, your statement of purpose, what you bring to meetings with you, your um, what I call a cheat sheet, um, how you present your brochure, how you present your business cards, what you have in your office to tell people about who you are, how do your practice members know or your clients know, this is what I do, this is what I don't do. All of that is Part 1 of Soup School's Marketing Academy. Part two is taking all of that and bringing it out into social media. So it's saying, okay, world, this is who I am. And you're talking to them in the ideal client mindset, right? You're talking to your Sally. Attract Well is the program that I use. It's kind of like um, if you landed on, a, if you went to the landing page and registered for this talk, which you did, you were on one of Attract Well's landing pages. And then you get an immediate email in your inbox. That also is set up in Attract Well. So it's landing pages. It's emails, it's kind of like constant contact meets Weebly, meets um, Outlook, meets Google Drive. It's all of the things in one happy program. And the people who work at Attractwell are the most beautiful people. I love working with them. And then there's Trello. <laughs> So Trello is like, um, it's like a decks of cards that you can move around to keep everything organized. And I talked earlier about our Trello SOP, which I'm going to be talking about um, just coming up in a few minutes. But I'm telling you, if you have not dived div if you have not taken a dive into Trello yet, do so now. Okay, so these are the tools that I use. I hope that that was helpful. Uh, a, a love bomb from Dr. Robin. Thank you, Dr. Robin. I was blown away. I've learned so much. Dr. Robin does really cool work with women who um, learn differently in the world. I'd be her ideal client. Um, and she's also a chiropractor, really gifted chiropractor. So we also have in, as far as tools are concerned, we have a plan. We need to talk to you about creating a marketing plan that really works for your practice and your ideal practice member. You're going to have internal systems, internal events, external systems, external events. That's the four point marketing map of soup school. So it's going to look something like this. Okay. Let's do a deep breath break. I'm feeling it getting busy in here. Hold on. Okay. That's good. So here's the plan. You've got your internal events, you've got your external events, you've got your internal procedures, and you've got your external procedures. If you are new in practice, please hear me say this. You're going to be focusing a lot more on external stuff because you got to go out and get them, Tiger right? If you're, if you've been around the block again, and you need to clean stuff up around your front desk, you're going to be focusing more on internal stuff. And these are just examples of each. So comp internal events are the things you do inside of your office to serve your current client base, right? Um, to make them happy, to keep celebrating them. In soup school, we have an entire course called the happy client experience. How do you make sure that the people you're serving are happy with your care? How do you keep them happy year after year? You have competitions, drives, auctions, giveaways, bring a friend days. Just remember with all of the internal events, with all of this stuff to just be compliant and do things to the letter of the law. Dr. Robin Hale comes into soup school and teaches us a lot about what we're allowed to do, what we're not allowed to do when it comes to marketing. External events are going to be things like screenings and dinners and networking events and BNI and Chamber of Commerce, all of that stuff. I My favorite external event would be calling Sally's OBGYN and saying, you know, I keep hearing that honest to God, you guys, this is what I say. I keep hearing really great stuff about what you do. And I need to learn more about who you are and what you do so that I can tell more of my people about you. Who would say no to that? Why don't we go for a walk around town during your next lunch break? When can I meet you Tuesday or Thursday? right? When you go for that walk with her, a walk is so much better than a fancy lunch because people have a tendency to open up and really let you get to know who they are when they're going for a walk with you. Um, so when you go for that walk, make sure you're doing a lot of listening. Shut your boca, 
listen, listen with your ears and listen with your heart. Ask a lot of questions. I'm telling you right now, the way to establish trust with affiliate partners or marketing partners is to listen to what they have to say because who listens these days, right? Internal procedures, file reviews, recalls, cleaning, organizing, checklists, updates, and stats. External procedures are gonna look more like alliance partnerships, cards and shops around town. Uh, posting flyers, shaking hands, kissing babies, giving pens out. Um, just get out there and pound pavement. Don't think about how stupid you're going to look. Go out there and reach more people because as I said 10 minutes ago, the world needs good care yesterday. Okay. You plus the right tools are unstoppable, I'm telling you guys right now. So here comes another love bomb. I'm following her process so that the next version of my practice can be more simple and easier and will give me back the time I need with my family and friends. Love it. Here's a Tractwell's testimonial. And I just told you guys about how awesome their company is. So when Greg, the owner of Attractwell, found out what we were doing in soup school, he said, I have to be a part of it. And he says, the approaches in soup school are tested and tuned. And I think that that's like the greatest compliment ever because we use his program to for our soup school home. So here's what I want for you, okay? Whether or not you're one of my students already. If you take away one thing, I want you to know that you really can use the right systems to not only double your practice, but fill your practice with people who really get what you do so that they keep coming back and referring to you year after year. With this one statement, I wanna say one more thing. You may not need to double your practice. You may have been feeling this whole time like your answer is doubling your practice or quadrupling your practice. Double click on that thought. Do you really want to see two times more people than you're seeing now? Or is it time to raise your fees? Or is it time to expand your hours? What do you need to do to get to the life of your dreams, to get the lifestyle of your dreams, the practice of your dreams? Really ask those questions, you guys. The big question now is how can you apply this framework to your own practice? Have more time to do what you really want to do while optimizing stats with people that you really want to be serving. The question becomes, do you, you want to hang out in circling Cindy land or do you want to be more like awesome Alice? It's time for you to serve to your full potential. You guys, I've been saying this the whole time, right? Your community needs you yesterday. It's time for you to follow a system that takes the guesswork out of practice growth. Uh, another love bomb from Molly. Listen, if you are on Instagram and you're trying to create a reputation for yourself through Instagram channels, you got to reach out to Mar Molly Cahill at Mar blah. Molly Cahill Marketing. She's incredible. She's she's like the Instagram queen, right? And she says Soup School is an organized system of life hacks. She actually is one of the people who comes into our marketing academy in Soup Marketing Academy Part Two for my students, and she teaches you what to do with Instagram. So introducing Soup School. Okay, this is. The point of my talk where if you have zero interest in joining my school, if you don't really want to learn about any more about what we're doing, or if you're already one of my students, go enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I send you so much love from this side of the computer, and I thank you for spending the time with me. If you're curious to learn more about what Soup School is all about and you want to grab a seat now, hang tight, stay with me here. Okay, I'm just going to check in with a chat box and see if there's anything I need to answer. Good morning from Wisconsin. The marketing part is coming. I love you too, Eric. <laughs> Naylin was on too. Hi, Naylin. Let's roll. All right, cool. Okay. I'm gonna go over soup school. Here's the other thing I wanna say before I get into this. I'm not a salesperson. In fact, I feel like slimy and cheesy when it comes to salesy stuff. So I'm just another crazy chiropractic mama sharing from my heart, a program that really, really works. And that's soup school. So soup school is an online finishing school for practitioners looking to streamline and automate their practice systems to grow far beyond their wildest dreams. So today's offer is a little bit ridiculous. In fact, I even second guess myself in what I'm offering you guys today, because it really is the biggest thing that I've offered before we raise our fees. So this is the time to get into soup school. I want to give you a bird's eye view of what you're going to get immediate access to. So three coins to the purchase of soup school right now. One is the staffless practice success system. One is our support bonuses. And one is our SOP course, which I've already mentioned. The staffless practice success system, let's dive into that for a minute. So 
These are the different pieces to soup school. We've got the superstar toolkit, which is all about getting your act together so that you're really successful in practice. Checklist Haven is going to help you organize the wazoo out of your entire practice. Communication station is about how to use your phone, your email, and your texting to automate all of your front desk systems. Soup Marketing Academy part one and part two we've already talked about. The superstar candy trunk is like where everything lands if it doesn't fit into another one of our courses. The abundance driven practice is all about getting the most out of every dollar spent and um, dollar earned and also how to ask for your fees, how to figure out what your fee system is, rules about fee systems. And it also is all about time, time management, creating the perfect schedule. How long do you spend with a new client? How long do you spend on a regular visit? These are all things we figure out in the abundance driven practice. And then the happy client experience is about just that, like making sure that your practice members are happy with your care. How important is that? When was the last time you took a pause, you pressed the pause button and you said, are my people really happy with my care? When was the last time you asked your practice members for feedback? I just did a reevaluation this morning on a practice member. And one of the questions I had for them was, how can I better serve you? So you guys ask these questions to your people. How can you better serve them? And these are all things I teach you in the happy client experience. So let's talk about what you get immediate access to. Soup school is all about preparation organization, automation, marketing, and connecting with the right clients. It takes the emotion out of marketing and client retention. It ensures consistent referrals and income from clients and community leaders who truly get what you do. It ensures that your clients are happy with their care so that they stay, pay, and refer for years. And it gives you plug and play tools for practice automation. You guys think of Soup School as kind of like a Wikipedia for all things practice success. It's not a you start here here and you finish before the year is over. It's something you dabble in and pick from. It's resources year after year. It's a one and done payment. You pay for soup school once and it's yours for a lifetime. These are all of the content partners who we have in soup school. I teach about 40%, 40 to 50% of the content in school. The rest of it is taught by people who are the best in their craft, whether it's marketing or practice success or figuring out your stats, all of these things things are taught by my content partners, and this is a list of them. Okay, the support bonus bonuses that we're offering right now are off the hook. They're really incredible. So the first is our regular scalability sessions and our community masterminds. Twice a month, we get together as a community. One of the times we get together, it's with one of our teachers, one of our content partners that are listed here. And another time it's just with other soup students so that we can mastermind and support each other. The second bonus is our buddy, is our unlimited support. So Several times throughout the week, I have Mar my Marco Polo app blow up where I have students asking me video questions. So it looks like you send me a video and I send you back a video. And my promise is by Monday morning between 10 and 11 a.m., I'm going to send you back a video guiding you through wherever you're at in soup school. Unlimited text support, unlimited email support. And then the third part is our accountability buddy program. So one of the things we use Trello for in Soup School is we partner you with the perfect accountability buddy. We actually have you fill out an application for this so that we can partner you really well. You walk through the accountability buddy board with your partner. You meet once a week or once every couple of weeks and we give you all of the weekly topics. We tell you what to do your first meeting, what you do regular meetings, and then we give you bonus actions. Like uh, you take a bonus action card and you throw it in week four and week eight and you guys challenge each other. Our buddy program is off the hook, you guys. It's absolutely phenomenal. So the third thing is the Trello SOP course, which I mentioned earlier. The SOP course is going to give you everything you could possibly think of to get all of the important stuff for your practice in one happy place. So it's going to look something like this. This is what we call our Trello SOP board. And you get access to this as soon as why is this not playing? Nope, it's not going to play for me, you guys. But it looks like this. So you get, you have a list for all of your important passwords. You have a list for all of your phone scripts. You have a list for your affiliate partners. I give you something called the 12-month um, practice party. All of your internal stuff, all of your external stuff, it's all there on the Trello SOP board. You're going to copy the SOP board and you're going to make it your own. And I tell you how to do it every step of the way. Just a lo another love bomb. Dr. Melissa says, Dr. Jody is incredibly helpful and 
respond to questions almost like she has nothing else to do but to take care of you. So here's an example of this. This morning, I had a student reach out to me and she said, Jody, I need help with contracts, with making contracts. I need to know what I do for an associate contract, what I do for an employee contract. I don't know the first thing about contracts, but you know what I do know? I do know where I can find out who the best of the best is. So I'm going to find the best of the best of the person who does contract stuff for practitioners. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring them into soup school. I'm going to interview them. I'm going to ask them to give you guys free stuff. And I'm going to put it right into soup school because that's what I do. I find the people who are the best and I put it in. So all of these content partners give you guys discounts if you're one of my students on what they're offering. Dr. Mandy refers to soup school as her Northern star being found. I think that that's incredibly sweet too. The other thing that comes up is what's your warranty? Like what if I get into soup school and I hate it, right? It hasn't happened yet, but if you get into soup school and you've really given it a fair try and you just realize that it's not for you, which it's not even possible, you guys, because if it's not for you, let's figure out why it's not for you and make amends to that and make it work for you, right? But if it truly isn't for you and you've shown me that you've done your work, I'm going to put give you the money back. I'm not going to keep your money if you've given it a fair effort. But if you haven't done anything at all for soup schooling, you just frankly changed your mind and I've already given you access to my queendom, I don't find that that's really fair. And after day 61, I really question and double click whether or not you've done some work. So that's my warranty. I try to be really fair with all of this stuff because I don't like it when people aren't fair with me. So what I want to do is I want to stop the share and I want to um, just open it up to questions. So hi, Maylin. And I'm going to go ahead and- All Right, so fair enough. Oh, great to see you.